On Monday, July 22nd, Kentucky State Police Post 13 in Hazard launched the High 5 Rural Traffic Safety Initiative. The objective is to educate the public as to why seatbelts and risk reduction are necessary for making the roadways safe for everyone. Mountaintop News spoke with KSP Post 13 Public Affairs Officer Matt Gayhart to learn more. With the High 5 program, we're looking at the three E's. Uh, the first one being education. That's where we want to focus the majority of our efforts into. And that not only is with motor drivers, but we also want to start them a little younger than that as well. At school age, uh, make them sure they're getting in the habit of wearing that seatbelt. Uh, the second one is through enforcement. Unfortunately, nobody wants to get a, a seatbelt citation, uh, but sometimes it's needed. And if it comes down to it, we will take somebody to save somebody's life. So the third one would be environmental, and it allows us the opportunity to be able to look at environmental factors that, that may be causing some of the collisions uh, or dangers that we may be seeing on the roadway like traffic signs or bits of guardrail, things like that. It's Christmas in July at Appalachian Wireless and every week in July you can win $250 cash with a big $2,500 giveaway August 2nd. Visit any Appalachian Wireless location for details. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Perry County previously ranked number one in the state for fatal collisions due to not wearing a seatbelt. After learning this, Post 13 wanted to launch the High Five initiative to bring that statistic down. You know, just a few short years ago, uh, Perry County actually ranked number one per capita in the state of Kentucky for unbelted deaths. Now that's a number that we just can't have any part of and we don't want to be on top of that statistic. So uh, we've played, placed a lot of effort in trying to make sure that we get out here and educate the people why it's important uh, to make sure they're utilizing their seatbelt when operating. It's a good opportunity to remind everybody to put the phones down, uh, limit their speed, limit distractions that are going inside the vehicle, and make sure you're using that in conjunction with your seatbelt. It's going to give you the best chance of surviving uh, if you're involved in a collision. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.